Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. Did a little pink eye, a little pink lip. I'm not one who normally goes for a lot of pink, but I did pink eyeshadow the other day and I loved it. So I thought I would show you guys. I did use a few new products today. Some worked better than others, uh, but we'll talk about that once we get into it. I did a little mix of drugstore and luxury products today. I know my last few blog posts and videos have been like strictly Sephora products. Today we're changing that. I've got some Burt's Bees, some CoverGirl, some Elf. I've also got Natasha Denona, NARS. I did a good mix today, I think. I really love the way this look came out, so if you're interested in seeing how I did it, just keep watching. I'm going to start by moisturizing with the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Like I mentioned in my last video, I have a lot of skin issues going on, but you know, whatever. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream with my Beauty Blender. Next, I'm going to be concealing with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm going to spot conceal any blemishes or dark spots, and then I'm also going to conceal my under eyes. For powder, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I'm going to bake a little bit underneath my eyes, and then I'm also going to powder the rest of my face. I'm going to let that powder sit underneath my eyes for a little bit, and while I do that, I'm going to bronze. I'm using this Burt's Bees blush, actually, as a blush and bronzer kind of duo. It's in the shade Toasted Cinnamon. And then I'm going to wipe away any excess powder from underneath my eyes. For highlight, I'm going to use the CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Highlight in the shade Pearl Crush. As you can see, I was pretty impressed. I've never really used a drugstore highlighter before, and this one was great. Then I'm gonna take a duo fiber brush, and I'm just gonna make sure there are no harsh lines and everything's blended together. Next up, eyebrows. For the eyebrows, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony.
As far as my brows goes, my right one always comes out better than my left one. Next I'll be using the Milk Makeup Cush Fiber Brow Gel, and I'm just going to be running that through each of my brows and then brushing them out with a spoolie. Next up, it's time for some eyeshadow. So I started with this e.l.f. Rose Gold Nude Palette. None of the shades have any names, so I started with the fourth shade in from the left. And I'm just putting that in my crease with a fluffy blending brush. This particular shadow wasn't giving me the pigment that I was looking for, so I went in for another layer. At this point, I was pretty disappointed in the e.l.f. eyeshadow, so I switched over to the Natasha Denona Camel Palette and I used the shade Safari. palette another shot I went in with the fourth shade from the right just to darken up the crease a bit as you can see there is a little bit of fallout but nothing I can't handle Once I was done darkening up the crease, I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush just to make sure everything looks okay. Now for the fun part. I'm going to take this pink shade in the middle, put some Fix Plus on my brush, and cover my entire eyelid. first shade from the e.l.f. palette that we used and a fluffy brush just to make sure everything's blended. Then I'm going to take the darkest shade in the Natasha Denona palette and I'm just going to deepen up the outer edges of my eye. take a flat definer brush and I'm going to take that same dark shade from the Natasha Denona palette and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. Then I have a little trick for you. So that eyeshadow goes all the way up to my eyebrow and I don't really want it that high. So I'm going to take the lightest shade in the e.l.f. palette and I'm basically going to erase the dark shadow that's too close to my eyebrow. It will look a little funny at first, but once I blend it all out, it'll look like there was never any eyeshadow there to begin with. It's time to curl the lashes. As far as mascara, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. This is exclusive to Target only.
this little dance party, I'm gonna make sure that I set my face with the MAC Fix Plus. This will just make sure I don't look too powdery. And last but not least, I'm going in with the Kylie Jenner Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Candy K. And here's the finished look, as you saw in the beginning of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.